Not only are we forgiven of all our sins through Christ, we are also a child of God. And God wants us to anticipate with joy what our inheritance is as his sons and daughters, which will be revealed fully when Christ returns. Because we are born of God, then in a manner of speaking, we have his spiritual DNA, which is his Holy Spirit. And because of that, we should naturally begin to resemble him. This incredible blessing, which happens through our redemption, provides us now with strength and discernment to act in obedience to God, not rebellion. Some of the later verses that John writes are kind of foreboding, saying things like, the one who continues to sin is of the devil. But we know that John doesn't want us to despair if we do continue to make mistakes, because as he said earlier, we'd be lying if we said we weren't sinful. He wants us to be mindful that our sin is in the pattern of Satan and a barrier to our abiding. This circles us back to the love of God, as we think of how Christ died for a world full of rebels. So while we wait for our full redemption, may we show the world what it means to be a child of God.